Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson. And today, since there is stuff going on in my garden, we're gonna do an early fall garden tour. So I think that this will help so that you guys can compare your desert gardens or your super hot zone 9B gardens to mine and see kind of what I have going on in mine and what you kind of have going on in yours. So let's take a walk around. So I have been planting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of beans. I want to make sure that my beans are in full force by the time the fall hits. So I have a lot of beans in my garden. But first, I've planted a green that upholds a lot to the warmer weathers. Um, it is Swiss chard. Now Swiss chard, I have going out as little baby starts. So it's not like huge, huge Swiss chard, but I wanna get it established before, like kinda of around before like October, so then I can start pulling from it in October. So let me show you what I got going on. So right now my Swiss chard is half in the sun, half out in the shade. Um, and I am gonna put shade cloth over this. I just don't have it going on right now so I can show you guys this example. So it's about 95 degrees and it's a little warm for the Swiss chard. So as you can see, the one in the sun is starting to get wilted a bit versus the one that's in the shade that is perked up. So I am gonna still provide shade cloth for my Swiss chard. Now, as far as any other leafy greens, I'm not gonna be putting those out until later on. So probably around end of September, early October, so that then I have those later on in late October, November, December, January, February, and all the way to the spring. But the Swiss chard can hold up a little bit better where everything else would either burn or it will bolt. Um, but you do need to supply the Swiss chard with a little bit of shade cloth. Because the monsoon is bringing down the daytime temperatures, this is actually the first day in probably around 50 days that we have been under 100 degrees, which is exciting, but it's not down to where it's like, you know, 80s in the middle of the day. It's still gonna be around 90s in the middle of the day, but 80s in the morning and 80s to uh, top of the 70s at night. But we'll probably will get back up for like another like week or two in the hundreds but the low 100s so that Swiss chard is still going to be out there so you want to make sure that you have a shade cloth on it. So over here I have my basil going. Now the basil loves the sun and it's going to be really really good to get the basil out here um, at this time. So I have the basil growing. I want that to get really established because I like to grow my basil next to tomatoes. So since I didn't get my tomatoes started this year, I'm gonna have to get some starts. So the tomato will go in there, but I want the basil to be well established. I also have one chichito plant that lasted the storms. Um, this one is starting to get some new leaves on it. So we're gonna let those kind of grow in and then hopefully we'll get some chichitos for the fall. And then this eggplant looks really, really rough after getting hail damage, but it's starting to grow a lot of new leaves, guys. So we're just gonna let it kind of do its thing and the eggplants will, the leaves will fall off when they're dead. So I don't really worry about pruning that one. I was so bummed about losing one of my shishito plants because the shishito are ones that will go all throughout the year. As long as you don't get really, really bad, like, hell damage and I've gotten hell damage on those shishito plants last year but this one it just really got to that one and it just lost all of its leaves and died so I only got one left but at least I got one left so at least I could start getting some shishitos in but now let's go to all of the beans now my beans guys I have just been putting beans into the grounds now some of my beans look really really good some of them look a little rough but the ones that look a little rough I've just been putting new beans next to those to get them just going because I want to have a really good really really good harvest of beans so I'm just really really protecting those so speaking of rough beans my Chinese red lung noodle beans look a little rough guys so I have them going right now they're not 100% loving the sun, but they have some spider mite damage. So I'm letting the sun kind of get to them a little bit um, to kill the spider mites in the soil too as well. But I've also put some seeds into in between these ones. So if I do have to end up pulling these, at least I'll have backups coming in right after it. 
Now my bush beans, on the other hand, they're doing a lot better. Some of them do have a little bit of bug damage, but I have the uh, royal purple ones. I have the uh, dragon ton bush beans, and then I have the uh, regular blue lake bush beans. And those are doing really good. Um, my ones in my pots on the other side are doing even better. I also have the okra planted. So I have an okra there and an okra there. Out of the four that I had, these were the best looking ones and I didn't want to take up too much spots with the okra. So I just have two of them here. And then I have a squash growing there. I planted a seed, so I don't know if this is a squash seed or a tree seed but we will find out sooner or later because the tree uh, just dumped a whole bunch of seeds over here too as well now my cucumber plants your cucumbers are another things that are going to need a little bit of shade cloth for right now so that one is in full sun and it's starting to wilt because it needs some shade this one is still in shade and as you can see it looks great so i'm going to put a shade cloth over here as well even though they're cooled down to about 95 degrees now growing cucumbers in the fall is so iffy, but so worth it. You have to really, really baby your cucumbers in the beginning um, when you plant them because they need to go out at this time. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you want cucumbers by October, November, you gotta put them out at this time. But it is technically too hot for them, so they don't really like it. So putting them underneath the shade cloth is going to work, but if you can get your cucumbers guys I promise you these will be the sweetest tasting cucumbers you'll ever have because they're very sweet going from the summer to the fall so going from hot to cold then they are in the spring when they're a little sweet and then they start to get a little bitter because they're going from the cold to the heat so it's worth it but you're gonna have to baby them so over here we have the Kentucky pole beans um, I have these three going and then I also have two seeds in the ground two or three seeds in the ground so these ones are gonna grow up nice and tall and then what I'm really excited for that's new to my garden this year is the Malabar spinach I have one in this brick and then I have one over here in this brick too as well now on my patio um, arch I have cucumber plants over here these ones are the beta alphas and then I have some dragon tongue bush beans in here in the middle, I have dragon tongue bush beans, and then I have some dragon tail radishes, or the dragon tongue bush beans, and then dragon tail radishes that are popping up. As you can see, they're starting to pop up right here, and then my bush beans are starting to come out of the ground too as well. And then on this side, I have blue lake bush beans, and then I have the um, midget cantaloupe growing up too as well. So as you can see, my garden is full of beans right now. There's a couple of other little things, but the beans are really or what's going on in my garden. I have a lot of them, some more bush beans planted in some pots, but for this week, I'm going to start hardening off a couple more things. Um, I have my Aunt Molly's out here. They're the cherry tomatoes. I have those ones out here, and then I'm also going to see if I can find some starts for some tomatoes and for some peppers because I would have tomatoes and peppers out in my garden right now but the ones that I started inside guys I'm just not great with certain tomatoes and peppers I will be the first to admit I'm not the best at it but let me show you the tree so as you can see last thing my tree is holding up pretty good too as well it does still have some fruit on it that one is the biggest one that I have but I have a ton of just little babies everywhere as you can see there's just little babies all over this thing so I'm expecting they said probably about October is when I get the biggest harvest so it has a little bit of sun skull on the ends of some of the leaves but overall this tree is doing really really well oh I almost forgot guys the last thing is over here in the corner which is my olivera I always forget my olivera but I have one out front and one in the back and that one is doing pretty good too as well so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update just so that you have a comparison for your gardens. Um, I am pulling out all of my Aunt Molly's, so I'm pretty excited about these. Starting to get, starting to get acclimated to outdoors and starting to harden off because I'm gonna put those in the ground coming up here in the next week. But with that said, I'm starting a whole bunch of stuff inside, which I'll be showing you guys that in the next upcoming video. But make sure you're starting to get your stuff outside. Put the shade cloth on it because it's still gonna need it 
but the monsoons are helping it to where they're gonna be able to grow. So I'm starting to sweat, guys. I can feel it running down my face. <laughs> so until next time, make sure you guys grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. Bye, guys.